I finally got my driftwood and it's time to prep it for the 125. Stay tuned. My name is Jake and this is Raccoon Creek Aquatics where we cover aquarium topics in general and planet tanks in particular. I have a lot of exciting projects going on and I've also started a weekly live stream. So if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing so you don't miss any of it. This is episode four of a step-by-step -step setup of a 125 gallon planted tank, featuring how to prep driftwood for an aquarium when you can't boil it. As I said before, I finally got the driftwood for the 125 gallon planted tank, and it's spiderwood, which I think is gonna look great. I ended up getting three large pieces. I normally boil driftwood for about an hour when I'm prepping it for an aquarium, but these three pieces are all too large to fit in any pots that we have. I normally boil driftwood for two reasons. The main one being to help it waterlog faster so it sinks, and the other to kill potentially harmful parasites. So this driftwood is completely dried out, so I don't think I have to worry about any waterborne parasites. However, I am concerned this wood will float when I go to fill the tank. To combat this, I picked up some natural slate. You can pick this stuff up at a number of different places, including a lot of fish and pet stores. I've even found natural slate tile at home improvement store. Just make sure it is in fact natural slate and it doesn't contain any additives such as any glaze or anything like that that can tamper with your water quality. You'll also need stainless steel screws. The ones I went with were about two inches long. For this project, I used two drill bits. One just bigger than the diameter of the stainless steel screw, the other just smaller. I like to pre-drill the wood just to prevent any chance of splitting when you run the screw into it. Before I attached any slate to the driftwood, I threw it into the tank and played with it a little bit to see how I want it to be oriented inside this tank. Once I knew how I wanted this driftwood to be oriented, I drilled holes into the slate and also pre-drilled the wood accordingly. I then ran the screws through the slate into the driftwood. Take a look at how each part turned out before I threw it into the tank. Don't worry, I didn't leave the slate exposed like that. I then buried the slate under the sand and allowed the wood to come out from underneath the substrate. And this is the finished product I have so far. Make sure you leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. I can add plants and rocks to give this a natural look. We're getting so close to adding plants and filling this tank. Next up is filtration. I also want to remind you of a weekly live stream I have going, so click that notification bell so you don't miss any of it. I'll see you next time.